Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekend reading for July 15th through the 18th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back as always. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Remember, this is a general reading. Not everything will resonate with all of you. Takes the parts that do, leave the rest behind. So let's have a look and see what we've got for your weekend ahead. We are starting out with embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. All right, perhaps some of you are making some plans this weekend. All right, you may actually be going on a little bit of an adventure. Uh, you might be making some travel plans, okay? Or, you know, this. a lot of people making some life changes um, in the last little bit, okay? So maybe you are looking out into the future. Maybe you're thinking of saving for your retirement, uh, you might be making, of course, travel plans for the for in the near future. Have a little bit of fun. Um, you know, you may also be looking at your career path as well and thinking, huh, where do I see myself? Where do I want to go? What floats my boat? All right, whatever that is, you are certainly about to step into your uh, future there. And it seems very, very exciting for you. We also have standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. This is certainly your time to stand out in a crowd. All right, so this is your time to be strong, um, be confident in whatever it is you set out to do in the weekend ahead and uh, really believe in yourself with the standing firm energy. Sometimes we sometimes we lack a little bit of confidence, okay, but it's just like confidently moving forward. All right, what does that look like to you? Is it a relationship? Is it just you having a really, really good sense of what is to come for your future and for the weekend ahead? Who knows, but it's certainly a very positive uh, kind of uplifting energy that's coming in here for you guys. So let's see what else we've got. And let's see, weekend please. Thank you. All right, let's have a look. And we have justice. Okay, so you may be making some decisions there. We've got the emperor. Man, oh man, you are very much large in charge and the wheel of fortune holy moly would you look at that energy that's coming out here for you boom 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 no messing around okay three major energies coming out for you justice emperor and the wheel of fortune so you are certainly looking to the future You're making some very important decisions possibly having some very honest conversations all right the emperor shows your wisdom your success and your ability to make a plan and stick to it and of course we've got the wheel of fortune so perhaps some of you are looking to make some changes you may uh, have a little bit of luck on your side this weekend as well very awesome energy the bottom of the deck maybe you're keeping your options open the seven of cups can certainly represent that you've got a lot of options a lot of opportunities you may also be imagining something very interesting here as well all right the seven of cups now just as a heads up it is at the bottom of the deck okay but the seven of cups can sometimes be overindulgence in something okay uh uh, sometimes can represent a little bit too much liquid. So if you are having a good time this weekend, perhaps practice some moderation, um, especially if you're out, uh, if you're out, uh, you know, barbecue or, uh, you know, having a few drinks with friends. Okay. Uh, there's always that one last drink that tips, tips the scale. So just something to be a little bit aware of there. Okay. But the seven of cups can certainly be something representing your fantasies, something representing something that you're dreaming dreaming of. So perhaps this is your opportunity here to make some sort of dream come true, or you might need to use a little bit of imagination, um, you know, to resolve an issue or to make some sort of decisions like, huh, what is this? I don't know. And so, but you also may have to make a, uh, make a decision and that seven of cups uh, brings in some options for you, but have no fear here because think here that you will be getting all of the information that you need to make a decision. The justice card does bring in, um, excuse me, balance, fairness, and equality. Okay. And this is where we really do, uh, kind of gather all of the information that we need. Okay. We make sure that we're recognizing and we're seeing the truth of the matter. We're getting to the heart of the matter and then making a balanced, fair, informed, unbiased decision. All right. So you might be making an important decision, but someone around you may make a decision that that does impact you in some way. 
but the justice card also brings about truth and honesty as well okay so maybe you are um just being honest with yourself and the people around you and uh you are just speaking your truth justice card can also bring about legalities as well so perhaps there is something where you're signing a contract okay or you have some sort of decision that is in your future i mean we've got friday saturday sunday so this could be something to do with your workplace um maybe you have some official documentation coming in oh hey if you're like me maybe you're signing a job contract that would be nice uh something that actually would put you pretty much uh in the driver's seat okay so if you uh if you're getting a new job um, man, oh man, congratulations, okay, because with that emperor, you may be stepping into a leadership role, or you just might be feeling very successful, all right, but the justice card is, um, uh, also where you may be, how should we say, entering into a legal contract of some sort, so with this energy, there may be something here that you are actually bringing into fruition that you've been dreaming of for a while. You might be making a, a purchase. The Wheel of Fortune can represent travel, but it could also be uh, that you just feel that it's your lucky day. So uh, if you're looking to buy a car, a house with the Emperor, bringing you the stability that you need, um, you know, travel plans, whatever it is, you might be making some sort of purchase there. And it may be something that is like, whew, very exciting for you. But we do have the Emperor coming in here also. And this is certainly giving you some stability and security in your world. This also brings in an element of success to you, okay? Brings in your confidence, your ability to put up, um, uh, develop a plan and to execute that plan, to put something in motion there. All right, whatever your situation is, you are very much in control. You're very much in charge there. And I think whatever you put your mind to and whatever decisions you make are going to be good ones because you're not making rash decisions with this energy. You're taking your time. You're gathering all of the right information and you are making a good, wise decision with that. The emperor can also speak to um, a person in your life. Okay, so you may have a person who you look up to or who you're spending some time with this weekend. Um, this can be, uh, you know, a spouse. It can be a leader of, you know, a business, a corporation. Um, it can be someone in your family, right? Leader of your family, usually a patriarch. Actually, in this particular deck, this is the female emperor that comes out. This deck has two. Um, so it could also be a female person that is in charge somewhere along the way. But whoever that is, they may have, you may be spending some time with them. Someone may be entering into a partnership, a legal partnership. It could be a romantic one. It could be a business partnership, all right? But this person here could be someone who actually can make a decision that influences your future. Um, this can be someone who gives you some really good advice and maybe helps you uh, make a decision or uh, has an opportunity for you or maybe just some words of wisdom for you. Okay, so very positive influence, whoever that may be, considering all of your cards so far are in the upright. But we do have some changes in the midst or a little bit of luck headed your way. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is an awesome energy here, especially if you're looking to travel, make purchases, make changes in your world. All right, we've got a little bit of a change of cycle there for you. You may actually have some good karma headed your way. Certainly things are working out for you here with all of this energy. Okay, you might just be feeling really, really positive. Stay focused on what you want to achieve. Stay focused on whatever decisions that you have to make. Okay, and try and maintain that positive outlook. Keep your vibe high so that we keep that wheel of fortune turning in the right direction. All right. And so I think here that some of you are really getting gaining some traction on something very important. And so whether this is just you going within and making some decisions, gathering, getting all of your ducks in a row, or whether it's actually something that you are taking action on, okay, you are very much um, very much in control here, probably a little bit more, um, you have a little bit more authority than you give yourself credit for most likely. All right. But the wheel of fortune does bring about some changes. Okay. And changing changes for the better for you. Okay. But, uh, sometimes when we do have a change in cycle, when we have that wheel of fortune, sometimes we can get a little bit of turbulence along the way. So just something to be aware of. So maintain, 
um, you know, keep your feet on the ground with that emperor, stay grounded, stay focused, and you shall get to where you want to go. Your advice from spirit, the eight of wands, time to get going. The eight of wands is awesome. Actually, the eight of wands is quite often a sign of manifestations coming to fruition it can also be one of gathering forward momentum, taking action, overcoming your obstacles. So really spirit is saying here, it's time to get going. Whatever plans, whatever action that you're looking to take now is a really great time for that. Okay. Spirit also wants you to know that, you know, there may be some opportunities, some doors opening up for you, something that you've manifested into your world something that you really want, something that's really positive for you. It's also an advice here to um, stay focused on your destination. Stay focused on what you want to achieve, what you want to accomplish. You may have some bumps in the road along the way. You may have some obstacles, but maintaining a positive outlook and taking action will get you to where you want to go. All right, whatever that looks like for you. But the Eight of Wands is associated with good news and abundance as well. So really high vibe energy for you guys this weekend. It's pretty awesome. Okay, and it's not really that surprising since we did just have the full moon. Okay, and so it could have kick-started something here for you guys. Maybe it just got you moving and shaking. It may have just got you thinking. It may have just got you uh, taking action and moving forward. So, because uh, it is a cycle change, right? The uh, full moon is the end of a cycle. And hey, uh, the wheel of fortune, good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, new opportunities in the universal green light uh, that is there for you. All right, so uh, you might have a lot on your plate, okay? But your spirit wants to remind you that you're capable of you're capable of whatever you put your mind to there. Blessings headed your way. We've got the strength card here. So another number eight there for you. Okay. So you may really have some blessings that are headed your way, but the strength card brings in Leo energy. The emperor is Aries, by the way, and justice card is Libra energy. Okay. You may have some multiple people in your world. All right. Or you just may have those influences, but the strength card is blessings headed your way. Your courage to persevere. If you're looking to make some big moves, some big, big changes, the strength card gives you that courage, okay? That inner strength, that confidence, very much like you're standing firm energy, maybe with that emperor here in the strength card and standing firm, you may actually need to stand your ground on something as well, okay? You might need to exert a little bit of authority on something. I mean, if you've got uh, family and children or something, and uh, then, hey, maybe that's uh, maybe that's just a given for some of you. All right, but the strength card really does give you um, that inner strength, okay, to make change, to make important decisions, okay, to put a plan into action, okay, um, very exciting energy. But the strength card also does gives you it do, also does give you some kindness and compassion. All right, it gives you an uh, the ability to know um, to discern when it's time to come out roaring like a lion. And when it's time to take a gentler approach. All right. So I think you've got, uh, you know, when to, you know, when to kind of come out there like that. And, you know, I think you can smooth some waters here as well if you need to. All right. But that strength card is absolutely beautiful because it does speak to your inner strength, your kindness, your compassion also brings you some patience. So maybe patience is a virtue. Mm. Okay. If you're normally impatient, then perhaps it's time to flip the script on that a little bit. All right. But we do have some very exciting energy. I mean, would you look at this, right? We've got five, five main cards out here. Four of them are major arcana. So there's some big energy coming in here for you guys. And all of it is incredibly, um, powerful for you. So if you are looking to make some change, maybe now is the time. Uh, if you were looking for some sort of uh, signal from the universe, this might be it for you. Okay, open that door and move forward. But I do feel that some of you are about to enter that important partnership here, a legal situation. So if you're um, eloping or getting married or anything like that, then congratulations to you because that justice card can represent like justice of the peace kind of thing. All right, so if that's you, congratulations. Okay, always very exciting. Um, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, I hope that you guys, uh, was something here that resonated with you on some level. I do have weekly readings coming out for you. All of your monthlies, of course, are done. We're still in full moon energy. So if you wanted to check out your moon readings, those are also posted up for you. And I've got a deck review coming up uh, a little bit later today as well. Uh, we've got, what is it called again? The Wild Unknown. It's the Alchemy deck. So I think that just came out 
um, just a few days ago. And uh, so I've got a deck review for that one as well. So kind of busy over here. I've got some time off between jobs and so I'm keeping myself occupied. Anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a fan freaking fantastic weekend and I'll see you guys later. Bye.